Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Did you know there was a karate master that by today's standards could be considered a true karate nerd? Mabuni Kenwa is known for creating the karate style with the most kata. Now depending on which school you're in, there are about 100 kata in Shitoryu. Now, the name Shitoryu was created as a uh, portmanteau of the names of Mabuni's most important teachers, Ito Suanko and Higaona Kanryo. Now, like most styles, people have tried to translate this name as well, and they turn it into the school for the immovable heart and the immovable spirit. Uh, so yeah, even a made-up word will get a meaning. Then again, who was made up? Like most karate masters, especially those that founded styles, Mabuni Kenwa, who was born in 1889, came from Okinawan nobility. He was a descendant of a family of territorial Okinawan princes, some of which were great warriors. Now, Mabuni is said to have been physically weak as a kid, so it must not have been easy for the young Mabuni growing up. So when he heard of the heroic tales of his ancestor over 17 generations ago, his imagination and his ambitions started firing up and he wanted to learn everything there was to know about the martial arts. With great enthusiasm, the teenage Mabuni went to possibly the most influential karate master of the time, Ito Suanku from Shuri. With this sensei teaching him, he devoted himself completely to the martial arts. He was so obsessed with learning and training that he even forgot to eat or sleep. He showed so much promise as a future master, Sensei Itosu encouraged Mabuni to search for knowledge with other masters as well. So he started studying the art of the bow and the kata with Aragaki Sensei. And he succeeded in studying under nearly every famous martial artist of the time. He was about the same age as Miyagi Chojun, the founder of Gojiryu, and they were great friends. It is said that it was Miyagi who introduced him to Sensei Higaona, who went on to become his second most important teacher. Unfortunately, Master Higaona spent his final years in poor health and passed away in 1915. Now, this passing was a great loss for the young master. On top of that came the passing of his other master, Itosu, in the same year. Now, by the time he got to his late 20s, he had established his own school, where later a new generation of great karate teachers, including himself, would start passing on their knowledge. In this establishment, you could find a real who's who of karate celebrities of the time. Now we're talking about Motobu Choyu, who was the chairman, Hanashiro Chomo and Chibano Chosin, that were some of the teachers. After a few years, he was encouraged by, Kan by Kano Jigoro, uh, founder of Judo, to go to Japan to promote his art. But him being a true karate martial arts nerd, he started studying other native martial arts too. Finally, in 1934, he started calling his art Shitoryu by combining the characters for the names of his two masters, Itosu and Higaona. Although his masters came from Shuri and Naha, he never spoke of Shurite or Nahate as these terms were quite inaccurate. Instead, he referred to these arts as something like Itosuha, the way of Itosu, Matsumuraha, the way of Matsumura, etc. So, at the end of his life, in 1952, Mabuni Kenwa was just one of those great karate ambassadors. He clearly loved his art, and was extremely passionate about learning and spreading knowledge about it. I have no doubt that I'm correct in calling him a karate nerd in the most positive and respectful way. Now, most of the information in this video I got from Andreas Quas's fantastic website Rukyu Buge. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Please visit his site if history interests you. 
even if it doesn't visit his site. Uh, karate historians like Andreas really deserve all the support. Now, the moving photos I use uh, are provided by Hanshi Patrick McCarthy and animated by Cesar Borkowski, I hope I'm not butchering your name, um, using the great software at myheritage.com. Next week, we'll be talking about the founder of Gojuryu, the perfect balance of hard and soft, Miyagi Choju. So how about you guys? What are you passionate about? Who would you say is your most important influence? Leave a comment, leave a like, share this video and subscribe. Have a great day and as always, thanks for watching.